You know, when I first saw this piece of ground, it was an absolutely flat piece of ground. It was the old George Airport. And everything that you see uh, on the links is been, uh, been man-made. Every mound, every plant being put in. Uh, that's what Dr. Platner and Gary created here. Yeah, the vision was absolutely incredible. It's just a joy to play, you know. It's, uh, there's no houses around it. It's just a, a beautiful setting. And undulating fairways, different lies, big greens, small greens, undulating greens, severe bunkers. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's basically, it's got everything. It's such a very challenging golf course, and you know what golfers are like. They, it doesn't matter what handicap you are, you always want to challenge yourself against a difficult golf course. And if they can play around about their handicap, they feel very satisfied and, and uh, they're, they're telling their buddies about uh, you know, how well they played at the links. But it will chew you up uh, as well. My favourite hole would be the, the 14th. It's called the Wee Wrecker. Uh, Gary named it the Wee Wrecker. It's not a very long hole. It's a very risk and reward shot. You can take a driver off the tee and, and drive it very, very close to the green. Or I've always played it with, uh, with an iron off the tee and then a, a good wedge shot in. But as I say, the Wee Wrecker it can wreck your whole score, being only 300 yards. Uh, hole number two is, is, a, is a very difficult short hole, especially at the start of the round. You know, it's just on 200 yards, on an elevated tee, a very severe green. If the pin goes up onto the top left-hand corner and you hit it down on the right-hand side, it's quite difficult to two-putt from there. And I always remember talking to Gary about the, the second hole. You know, it comes up so early in, in the round. And uh, his answer to me is, you're not supposed to make two there. So, you know, it's... it's uh, if you walk off with a three there, you've done very well. As I say, it's over 200 yards, but it's, a, it's an elevated tee and it's just a magnificent hole. The eighth hole, the little par three, about a 170-yard uh, par three, and it's usually about a six-iron shot. Very, very uh, tricky little hole, this, because uh, they've got water on the right-hand side of the green, which you can't see. And uh, the green is a typical Lynx green. It slopes away from you towards the water. And it's one of those holes that you can't afford to miss left and you can't afford to miss right. And you know, the short holes are magnificent at, at the Lynx and you're very happy to walk off with three there. The fifth hole is just a wonderful par five. You know, it's uh, not a very difficult par five, but the, the tee shot, you've got a very generous fairway. The longer hitters could obviously get there in two. They've got about a 225-yard second shot. And the, the thing that's unusual about it is that you have two hazards in front of the green. You have water and then you have a bunker. So, you know, if you're uh, a long hitter, you probably have to carry both these hazards to, to get it on the green. But most of the guys just lay it up and then go from there. A very, very nice par five. The dogleg uh, 15th hole is, is, is a very, very tough hole. It's uh, tee shot is very, very important there. If you can get it uh, in, into the middle of the fairway, about 250 yards down there, you've got a seven or eight iron in. And the, the challenge, you've got water left and right, and any shot that's not hit absolutely crisply is gonna go into the water. So you've gotta be very, very careful. And a lot of guys just lay it up short and then putt from the front of the green. The clubhouse is also magnificent. You can sit on the veranda or in the lounges and look down the 18th hole, which is a, which is a magnificent par five. Uh, a unique par five because there's no bunkers on the, on the fairway. It's just a very wide fairway. And as I say, Gary wa wanted it that way. You're coming up the hill towards the clubhouse and to sit there and, and look down at this par five. Not a very difficult par five, but a wonderful finishing hole. The condition of this golf course is, is, is always at a high, very high standard. They've got this revetting on the bunkers here, which make them very, very difficult to get to. Well, you can get out of them, but you may have to go out of them sideways. It, every time you go in a bunker, yeah, it's going to cost you a shot. So you try and keep away from the bunkers. The greens are in magnificent condition all the time. They're always running around about 10.5. Tee boxes are set, uh, you know, they have a lot of tee boxes. So you can make up your mind how you want to play the golf course. It's a, it's a very private golf course. Uh, they have this 15 minute gap between tee off times and uh, so you feel that you're the only four ball on the golf course. You know, it's held the, the President's Cup and the South African Open year 
and uh, it's one of those golf courses that you want to go out and challenge yourself again and again. In, in years to come, uh, I, I see it as becoming one of the great golf courses of the world. <laughs>